Uh, today's rainfall could help a little bit, but dry months and a lackluster monsoon has put Tucson and other parts of Arizona into a severe drought. Nine News Science Brian Brennan has more on how dry it's been and how long the drought may last. Dealing with drought seems to be part of living in the desert, but this is the first time in a little while that Tucson has been in a severe drought, and so far, this monsoon is not helping. Monsoon storms bring a break from the heat and needed rain to the parched desert. The Kagon 9 weather team has watched as this year's monsoon has struggled to get going. Even though there's no one monsoon that's the same, July typically is the better month. So when you start seeing the end of that uh, month coming to a close, you, you just, it's disheartening. Good morning, Tucson meteorologist April Madison says while a few places have had some rain, it was the 10th driest July and hottest single month on record for Tucson. Believe it or not, Arizona is not one of the most extreme. We're severe drought, but we're still not in the category of most extreme, amazingly. The National Drought Mitigation Center released their drought monitor. It shows red areas of extreme drought and severe drought growing in Arizona. The Tucson area is in severe drought for the first time since July 2018. Uh, April, May, June, of course, and July, very dry. Um, just haven't been able to get the, the monsoon really kicking in um, consistently, as we know. National Weather Service Warning Coordination Meteorologist Ken Drew says there is still time left in monsoon to get some heavy rain, but our upcoming winter might be drier than normal also. As far as the winter goes, um, it's looking like a La Nina episode might set up in the uh, Pacific Ocean, which is cooler than normal ocean temperatures. And that tends to be a dry winter for us, unfortunately. So when it comes to rain in the desert, Patience seems to be the key. Take it easy on, on the weather experts. We, you know, we get it. We want to see it too.